So let's have a look at my game for a second, because in this video, we're going to learn how to stop an object leaving the room. Now, we could do this for an enemy object or a player object. But right now, you can see that I just sail right out of the room and it doesn't care at all. So what we're going to do here on the object player is we're going to go and add an event from the other category. And it is when it intersects the boundary. So that means when it touches any of the boundaries. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to set its speed a couple of times to zero. So it's going to be horizontal at zero and it's going to be vertical zero. So that'll stop when it reaches the edge of the room. You might do something else like make it go through to the other side. Uh, but let's have a quick look and see how this behaves. And I'll show you those other tricks as well. So. One is, there I am. Now I'm going to go to the bottom of the room and you'll see that I just stop. So likewise, when I go there, it basically just turns off my speed. So that's one thing that you could do. So I might do something else. I might restart the room. So here we go. And when I look at my game, so there we go. If I were to hit the edge, it will penalize me by restarting the level. So that's another thing that I could do. I might change the direction, which I can also do. And I think there's a way where you wrap. Let me just see where that is. There it is. So instead of doing that, I'm going to wrap around the room and horizontally or vertically. So wherever I leave, I'm just going to appear at the other end of the screen. So let's have a quick look at that in action. So I guess the lesson I want you to have is that you've got options here. Now, if you're using something on a path, then this won't work, or at least it will work oddly. So I go up the top and I turn up on the bottom. So this keeps me on the screen, the screen, particularly if I'm in some kind of danger. There we go. So there are your options in terms of keeping an object on the screen. 